باز باز Boko reached the big station and arranged his trucks. Then he went to the shed and asked politely if he could come in. Doc was not pleased to see a diesel, but presently, when he found out Boko knew Edward, he became more friendly. Upon a time Boko told him about Bill and Ben, they were laughing together like old friends. Have they ever played tricks on you? asked Boko. Goodness me, yes, chuckled Doc. Edward is the only one who can keep them in order. You know, went on Duck, I sometimes call them the bees. A good name, chuckled Boko. They're a terrorist when they start buzzing around. Just then James bustled up. What's that, Duck? Are you terrified of bees? The only insects are the rule, so don't let that buzz box diesel tell you different. His name is Boko, and we didn't, we, I wouldn't care, interrupted James. If hundreds were swarming around, i just blow smoke and make them buzz off. Buzz, 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 retorted Duck. James retired in a huff. James was to board the express next morning, and when Duck brought his coaches to the platform, he, it was crowded. Mind your backs, mind your backs. Two porters were taking a loaded trolley to the front van. Fred drove while Bert walked behind. Careful Fred, careful, warned Bert. But Fred was in a hurry and didn't listen. Suddenly an old lady appeared in front. Fred stopped suddenly, but the luggage slipped forward and burst the lid of a large white wooden box. Some bees flew out, and just as James came backing up down, they began to explore the station. Someone shouted a warning. The platform cleared like magic. The bees were too sleepy to be cross. They found the empty station cold. James's fireman was trying to cobble the train. They buzzed around him hopefully. They wanted him to mend their hive. Then they can go back and be warm again. But the fireman didn't understand. He thought they would stung him. He gave a yell, ran back to the cab and clutched with his jacket over his head. The driver didn't understand either. He swapped the bees with a shovel. The bees, disappointed, turned their attention to James. James's boiler was nice and warm. The bees swung round it happily. Buzz off! Buzz off! hissed James. He made smoke, but the wind blew it away and the bees stayed. At last, one settled on his hot smoke box. It burned his foot. The bee thought James had stung it on purpose. It stung James back, right on the nose. Eee! whistled James. He had had enough. So was his driver and fireman. They started without waiting for the guard's whistle. They didn't notice until too late. And then left their train behind. In the end, it was Boko who pulled the express. He was worried at first about leaving his trucks, but Doc promised to look after them, and so it was arranged. He managed to get game back some of the lost time, and the fat controller was pleased with him. No one seemed to notice when James came back to the shed. They were talking about what a new kind of beehive on wheels. It was red, they said. Then they all said, buzz, 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 and laughed a lot. James thought that the big mainline engines were being very silly.